this morning saying, God, I love life. Let me see some hands. God, I love life. I just, I just couldn't have any more passionate lovemaking in my life than I have right now. Hands. <laughs> Hands. Good, good. What about, I just couldn't make any more money than I make today. Let's see it. Anybody? Okay. As an oncologist, I deal every day with people who are just happy to wake up. They got another chance. But when you wake up with cancer, you're going through treatments, you're sick. The first thought that goes through your mind is, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I'm losing my hair, I'm losing weight, I'm dying. And it's going through your mind and you wake up saying, I have pain, I can't, I can't sleep. I can't even go to the bathroom without all this trouble. <sighs> By the way, I just wasn't describing one of my cancer patients. I was describing me. That was me in 2005 when I was stressing myself ill about creating California's largest oncology practice. But I got help. I got help. Now, where did I get this help? Where did I get cured of all my symptoms? Was it, a, was it from the New England Journal of Medicine? Was it from JAMA? No. It was from Flavi. Flavi? What the hell's Flavi, you might be asking? No, Flavi's not like Watson. Flavi's not a new robot. Flavi was my patient. Flavi was an amazing, beautiful 80-year-old woman who smoked like a chimney and had stage four lung cancer. But I'm gonna tell you something else about Flavi. Flavi gave me CPR. She brought me back to life, and I'm gonna tell you the story. CPR, compassion, presence, and resilience. Flavi gave it to me, and I'm here to give that to you. Look to the person next to you. Look to the person next to you for one second. One out of every two doctors is completely burned out. <laughs> one out of two. And you know what the highest percentage is? Internal medicine. Hello? I'm an oncologist, internist, and I was completely burned out, 40 patients a day. Are you kidding me? On my electronic medical record, 20 hours a day, one out of every two, that's a fact. By the way, the least burned out dermatology, look into it, look into it. <laughs> but let me tell you, I can always remember that day when I walked into Flavie's hospital room. She was in the hospital for side effects of chemotherapy. I walked into her room, and you know, I was a stress ball at that time, but I walked into her room and I said, hi Flavie, how you doing? How the, you know, you're getting better from the chemo side effects? And she says, hello Dr. E, how are you today? Forget about me. It's my Flavie imitation. Forget about me, she says, I'm gonna live a few more months. I'm only doing the chemo because my children want me to do it. I've lived a good life, Dr. Ree, but what about you? How are you today? Here I am, I'm, I'm taken aback because I'm in her hospital room asking about her and someone who's dying is asking about me. How are you doing? And she goes on. Talk to me. You're not looking so good. And so I, uh, <laughs> I did what I 
I said what I uh, say to all of my patients back then. I lied. I lied to Flavi. I said, fine. I'm fine, Flavi. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy and, busy and fine. Fine, busy. Busy and fine. Fine. Frustrated, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. Yeah, I was fine. I was fine, Flavi. And she looked at me and she said, bullshit! You look like crap! Swear, true story. If you can't take care of yourself, Dr. E, how are you gonna take care of all of us? Exact words. You gotta have fun in life. Stop trying to be perfect every minute. She says this to me. Sometimes being good enough is great. Just sit next to the smartest kid in the room. And that's why I'm here, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, let's have some fun. You gotta let go. You gotta let go of the stress. Let's have a dance. You see, she had a tough life. She lost her husband in the war. She raised all of her kids a, a single mother. But she never gave up her dream of being a dancer in Vegas. So she asked me to dance in the hospital room. And I'm like, what? I'm going to dance in the hospital room with Flavi? And I said, hell yeah. I'm going to dance. And so I'm dancing with Flavi. And she's singing me a little song that she, you know, picked up in Vegas. And we're dancing. And at that moment, something shifted in me. And I saw this, this practice that was breaking me down, the glorious practice as an opportunity to create powerful partnerships with patients, to really practice CPR with every patient, with every interaction, to bring that compassion, to bring that presence, not being over there, being with you. And she showed me what real resilience was about. She shocked me back into life. And from that moment on, I connected with all my patients that way. We didn't dance every time, but we, we connected. We start to sit down next to each other and Google things together. We would do mindfulness practices in the room during the visit. It was Flavi that taught me the secret of medicine, that illness starts with I and wellness starts with we. When you have a we, when you create that powerful partnership, anything's possible. And that was Flavi who gave that to me. So, I'm no longer burned out. <laughs> and uh, Flavi, and I wrote a song together. Now, not everybody has to write a song with their patient. You can do anything to connect. But we wrote a song together. And I'm going to play it for you right now, right here. And this one is for you, Flavi. We danced in your room, you taught me to give, yeah. You don't let me lie. You taught me to live When times were real tough When everything sucked, yeah You cared about me when you were down on your luck You got a generous heart You got a generous heart, yeah 
Sometimes it takes all you got Never tear you apart You got a generous heart Everybody You got a generous heart Come on You got a generous heart Yeah Sometimes it takes all you got Never tear you apart You got a generous heart Come on, last time You got a generous heart Danny You got a generous heart Yeah Sometimes it takes all you got Never tear you apart You got a generous heart Bring it down Sometimes it takes all you got Never tear you apart You got a generous heart Yeah that's one. Sometimes it takes all you got. Never tear you apart. You've got a generous heart. And so do all of you. Thanks. <laughs>